Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today for this fantastic embossing folder tutorial. Now, this is something that I've been doing with embossing folders for a long time. I love this technique and I particularly love this embossing folder. So this particular folder is from the Textures Floral Script range. You'll find that linked below. I know there's only a handful of these left, which is why I thought I'd work with this today. Now, other things that you're going to need is some white cardstock. You're also going to need to use some bright colour inks. Now, I've got my Distress Oxides. I've got Salvage Patina, Mermaid Lagoon, Cracked Pistachio and Twisted Citron. But you don't have to use Oxides. You can use inks. You can use Spectrum Noir. Whatever your inks are that you have at home, as long as they're nice and bright, you can do that. And also, as long as you can blend with them to a point. So I'm going to blend these four colours into the piece of white cardstock that is already cut to size to fit into my embossing folder. Now I've already cut this to size because I don't want to waste any ink by blending an area that I'm going to cut away. And I'm not worrying too much about my blended edges either. I'm just throwing colour here and there in patches and joining up the gaps with other colours until I've filled the entire piece of cardstock. With this, the brighter the better. So find your brightest colours and have a play. Now my ink blending is done and this is all dry, the next stage is to add that black, make these colours really pop. So we're going to use the embossing folder, we're going to open it up and we're going to position our cardstock inside. I do like to tack mine down because this means that I know where it's going to sit again if I need to repeat the inking process with the black. Now you can use any black ink for this, definitely trial and error with it. Um, I love to use two, that's Distress Ink, not Distress Oxide, in black soot and also Versifying Clair. So what we're going to swipe the black ink of our choice all over the front of the folder. Now this is applying the ink to the background essentially, the piece that's going to press into the card so it will be the background. A little tip for you though, before you put your paper or cardstock into your embossing folder whether you've inked the background or not this is the same for solid cardstock spritz the cardstock with water now today i'm only going to spritz the reverse because i don't want it to affect my oxide blending but if you've got plain cardstock going in give a light mist of water on the front and back give it a few seconds to soak in and then pop it into your embossing folder now this is where you want to be really careful so as you open up your folder be sure not to move the cardstock. We can already see the technique happening there, but I'm going to go over this again. Now I'm going to use my Versifying Claire this time just to show you the difference. So swiping all over the folder. As I said, this does get a little bit messy. So make sure that you've got a mat on your surface. Make sure you haven't got your best fingernails painted, whatever it may be, that you don't want to get the ink on. So once you've swiped that all over with black ink, close that up again and run it through. This is exactly why we taped that cardstock down for the first time. Now you can repeat that process as many times as you need to get the best possible impression. But there's mine now. This is with two layers of the black ink. Um, like I say, keep going until you're happy with how dark that is. I'm quite happy that that's not really, really dark and really black. The oxides have kind of had a little bit, given it a little bit of a chalky effect underneath, but I still love that pop of colour. It's like a mystical, magical kind of garden there. I love that. So let's make this now into a quick card. While you're watching me do this, just a reminder that if you love quick cards like this where you get really fast and effective results, I do have some videos on my YouTube channel called 5 Minute Makes. There's a new one posted every Friday and you'll find an entire playlist for those. So go and check that out at the end of this video. Now I love to flick white ink, white paint over any of my cards and this one's going to be no exception. I like to use the Dr. PH Martin's Bleed Proof White. This is a gorgeous paint or ink and it just stays white it doesn't take on the colors that are underneath it so you can splat away and i just think for that mystical look but also to hide any imperfections that you might have and give almost a starry night sky look this is perfect so i do tend to spritz a little bit of water into the top of the bottle there just sitting on the ink and pick up that watered down ink it just makes it a lot easier to splat Lastly, a quick little sentiment. I'm just going to pop that. I think I might actually pop that at the top there 
in the darker area so that stay strong sentiment has come from my texture sentiments for all pack again that's linked down below and i do have a tendency to go a little bit crazy with the embellishments especially when it comes to gems and beads this is no exception again i'm going to pop some aqua colored beads glass beads in here as well an additional little bit of sparkle just in some of those dark areas so this is a lovely card the stay strong sentiment could be switched up for absolutely anything else but hopefully you would enjoy trying out that technique as well making those colors pop with a darker background if you enjoyed this please don't forget to do a thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you again really soon